Hello Planning Mashers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally doing September planning with me and as always the theme was chosen by you on Instagram. For September you chose books and I am pretty excited to show you what I came up with. As always there is a blog post with tons of book theme inspirations from other creators so if you want to check that out the link is in the description. And if you're new here, my name is Marsha and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, creativity, all the good stuff. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Let's get planning! For the cover page, I wanted to go with something more or less minimalist. I didn't really feel like creating a huge illustration so I decided to go with just this little bookshelf in the middle and of course all the supplies I'm using here will be linked in the description. I've been thinking for a while what to do with the font and I decided to go with this like really fun offset block letter type of font just because I had certain book series in mind when I was creating this theme and that book series is a lot of fun so I wanted to create something a little bit funky. I will be talking a little bit more on the book series and little clues I hidden all over my setup later when we set up my monthly log. And yeah, you probably noticed that the proportions of my doodles are a little bit off. So don't judge me too much. I kind of wasn't thinking about the proportions on how big or small the other items should be compared to the books. So I didn't realize how kind of weird it looks when it was already done, but uh, let it be like that. Let it be a fun, disproportionate world. Okay, so here is our monthly log and as always I am creating a tiny tiny little calendar just to know, you know, how the days are in the month and the rest is gonna be mostly illustrations. Now I'm going to have here some space for my to-do list and a little space to just mark the main goals for the month but other than that everything is gonna be books, books, books. So this is the moment where I put the first kind of a callback to the book series that is probably my favorite ever. And no, it's not a Harry Potter, even though it is a wizard hat. So I am gonna give you some time to kind of figure out what book series it might be. Let it be a little secret and I will let you know let me see. How about I will let you know when we create 
one of the last pages. So you kind of have some time to think about it. I'm not gonna give you any extra clues. I feel like maybe the illustration talk to themselves, especially the hat. <laughs> That's the callback from the very first book in the series. And yeah, if you know this series, you'll get it right away. So when I was kind of finishing the setup, I realized that I didn't really leave any space for my usual like events or birthdays and deadlines, stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna just steal a part from the to-do list to add those because it's not like I have that many events or stuff. Thank you, quarantine. So I don't usually need that much space for that category. I'm sorry for my voice being weirdly raspy. I don't know why. <laughs> I kind of have been feeling a little bit weird today. Maybe I'm getting a cold. I don't know. Hopefully not. But it is winter here in La Paz right now. So everything is possible. So the next page are my trackers. I've been doing it for the last few months where I would have my mood tracker and my habit tracker on the same page. I really like this format and moreover, I really like that it saves me pages in my journal. As you might know, I mentioned several times before that I am about to run out of pages in this journal. I think there are just a few months left in it and I really want to keep using it for as long as possible. I'm the kind of person who gets attached to things and this journal has so many memories already that I feel like I really would be very, very sad starting a new journal. I went with a very classic design for the mood tracker. It's just gonna be like bookshelves and each book stands for the day. I did not add any numbers just because I just felt like it wouldn't look very pretty and it's not really that important to me to know the date. I kind of prefer to just at the end of a month look at this and just generally see how well the month was, whether I was mostly happy or had like some bad days, stuff like that. That's kind of a main reason why I'm using a mood tracker, so I can kind of analyze the month later on. And because my mood tracker kind of took most of the page, I decided to go very simple with my habit tracker. Nothing too fancy, kind of the same thing I did last month.
As you can see, I also hid several callbacks to that book series we've been talking about before in this page. So I hope this helps you to kind of guess what exactly that series is. The next page is my gratitude log, which is the spread I always have. And I did one line a day last month and it really works so well. So I am sticking with the same format here. But the thing that I realized is that one page actually has more space than just 30 lines, much more. So I decided to kind of add some more bookshelves at the bottom to make the page a little bit more fun to look at even while it's still empty. And I decided to add a cat simply because this is kind of a character from that book series. So this is kind of my final hint at the series. The next page we're creating is a quote page and that's when I'm gonna tell you. So the book series that I've been kind of inspired by and which is probably my favorite book series ever, if not favorite books, these are the Discworld books by Sir Terry Pratchett. They are absolutely amazing, they're so funny, they're so clever and he just has this incredible talent to deliver very important messages in such a witty way. So I really wanted to add a quote page in my setup and it really was a very, very difficult choice. Sir Terry Pratchett was an incredibly smart man and honestly, his books are full of fantastic, life-changing quotes. So the most difficult part for me was to choose what kind of quote to use. But I realized that since our theme for this month is books, I decided to choose something he said about books. As always, it is such a powerful quote and just so true. So I decided to kind of decorate this quote with a little like moments from the, his Discworld books. And on the top, that's actually his hat. I don't know how well I drew it, but I feel like, you know, I did a pretty good job. While I'm finishing the quote, I just wanted to mention my patrons and everyone who supports me on Coffee. Thank you so much. And if you want to support me on Coffee or you want to join our Patreon family and get tons of goodies for your bullet journal, every month, be sure to check the links in the description.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to check my huge blog post with tons of inspiration from other creators. And I will see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye.